The Wisconsin Department of Health Services presents Exterior Work Practices. The purpose of this hands-on exercise is to show students the proper steps for restricting entry to a work area and to protect the ground under and around the work area from becoming contaminated, as well as the proper steps for cleaning the work area after completion of the work followed by a visual inspection. The supplies needed include orange cones, barrier tape, warning signs, plastic sheeting, duct tape, a cutting tool, tape measure, disposable tack pad, flashlight, cleaning wipes, a HEPA vacuum, and garbage bags. Before you begin, close all doors and windows below or within 20 feet of the work area. Step 1. You'll want to cover the ground with plastic sheeting, at least 10 feet in all directions from the actual location of paint disturbance. If your work is not being conducted on the ground floor, make sure you use enough plastic to contain any debris that may be created from the renovation work. And depending on your scenario, 10 feet of horizontal plastic sheeting may not be adequate or possible. In this situation, you should consider using vertical containment or extending your horizontal containment if possible. Step 2. Secure the plastic sheeting to the side of the building. This will create a good seal to keep debris out of the soil. If you're going to be working with a ladder on the plastic, you can cut holes for the feet through the plastic so that the ladder is stable on the ground, but make sure you tape around the legs to maintain the containment. And anytime you move the ladder, you'll need to patch those holes with duct tape as well. Step 3. Weigh down the sides of the plastic with 2x4s, bricks, or stakes to keep the containment secure. Curbing the plastic by rolling the plastic over creates a barrier to prevent dust and debris from blowing off the plastic. Additionally, you can use spikes with washers and weights to keep the plastic from ballooning in wind or from sliding around in the grass. Anything used to hold down the plastic that is not completely wrapped into the plastic will need to be thrown away. Step 4. Place barrier fencing around the perimeter of the work area, 20 feet from the work area on all exposed sides. So you'll want to place a disposable tack pad at the corner of the plastic sheeting nearest the entry door to control tracking dust off of the plastic. Establish an entry point to the work area and place a sign that reads, Warning, Lead Work Area, Poison, No Smoking or Eating. In Step 7, you'll want to stage all your tools, supplies, and equipment that you'll need to conduct the renovation, repair, or painting work on the plastic sheeting to avoid contaminating the work area.